Hey, good morning, everybody. Tuesday, 27th of June. Thank you for those of you that helped me with the longest day yesterday. We achieved around 170 launches between about 4.20 in the morning and just before 10 to 10 at night. What have we got today? Well, the Atlantic's starting to wake up, at least for the next few days. And you can see that a low pressure system just south of Iceland is starting to chuck a few fronts at us. Southwestly to westerly winds dominating. And with this, a warm front has started to make its way across the UK. Hence, you see the top cover that's coming. The high pressure systems are generally going to remain to the south of us over the next sort of week or so, with the jet stream sort of just flowing right over the top of us or perhaps to the south, which is uh, unfortunately going to just quash the temperatures that we've had a bit in the nice weather. Those winds at heights looking uh, southwest to west-southwest at around 15 to 20 knots. And the satellite picture currently shows a fair amount of cloud, generally at height, but there is some low level cloud mixed in with that as well. And that cloud cover is quite extensive across uh, England and Wales and probably will remain that way for most of the day. A top temperature today of 19 degrees, good visibility, but fairly overcast. And temperatures on GFS also showing uh, maybe 22 in the capital, 23 but uh, certainly not much more than that. So I think 20 degrees at Latin really the top temperature today. And with that warm sector air coming through, dew points will remain quite high, probably only dipping to about 14 or 13 degrees dew point. Currently at Latin with a temperature of 17 and a dew point of 11. And the picture outside shows some scuddy low cloud just about and yeah, some higher, uh, sort of medium level cloud, which is just keeping the lid on things at the moment. Farnborough currently reporting uh, west southwest um, and no clouds detected. At Lasham, it's probably more like uh, sort of scattered at uh, 12 to 1300 feet and probably broken at three and a half or so. And you can see that broken at three and a half uh, within the TAF structure, which is showing. But uh, yeah, it does look like uh, the, the, there will be a definite ceiling to today's activities. Top Meteo then is not particularly showing a very sorable day. There might be the odd weak thermal, uh, maybe to uh, two and a half to three thousand feet. But uh, it does not look like cross country is possible today. Uh, so it looks very much like it's a good day for training, uh, but not much more than that. But with all the high level cloud that you can see. And you can see that on cloud amounts as we go through today. Uh, very thick cloud, generally at height, uh, just keeping surface heating down and preventing uh, thermals from uh, really getting going. Good, okay. Uh, so a reasonable training day, uh, but uh, with a noticeable wind, but uh, yeah, not bad by any stretch of the imagination, but just not good for soaring. Glastonbury, for, no, for your airspace today, Glastonbury is still active, uh, a restricted area temporary, even though I know everybody's leaving, uh, is active until um, tonight. So, uh, yeah, Glastonbury. 21 is Keevil, Keevil temporary danger area is active. 23 is not relevant. 33 is parachute dropping at Little Rissington uh, today, all day. So just north of Rise Norton near Whitney. Article dropping to the south of Oxford at RA Fabingdon. Uh, that's taking place uh, today between 11.30 and 3.30. West on the green may be active for parachuting just to the north of Oxford. And you've got parachuting activity going on uh, in Herefordshire at Shopton and at Creedon Hill sort of areas. Uh, so pretty much if you're going up uh, sort of towards uh, Herefordshire uh, uh, in a motor glide or anything, please do check the no tabs in a bit more detail. Uh, but yeah, there is parachute jumping at Creedon Hill, Hereford and uh, uh, yeah, and uh, Shobson. Nothing else really of note. Salisbury Plain is active as usual for a weekday. And operationally today, we're going to be, I think, runway 27 to start with. Uh, with cables offset to the south. We'll take a view if we need to change to 2-3 at some point today, which is quite likely. Uh, then uh, we can just hop across hop to 2-3 and launch that way. Uh, just a reminder, in these strong winds, I've seen a few gliders getting a bit shallow on their approaches. 
So making sure you're using half to two thirds air brake with your approach speed and maintaining that all the way down to the reference point. And no jet movements to speak of today. So I will see you out there shortly. Bye for now.